All right. You know, we learned last time about happiness burns through impurities in a person's system and the entire universe. And it's like a fire burning to ash. All the impurities in a person's system and the entire universe. The greater the degree of joy you can attain and the more you can truly rejoice, the more you will obliterate the obstacles which stand between God and yourself. It's amazing. I said, garlic and <laughs> it could get rid of the bad stuff while the good stuff stays. And not only just us, but the entire universe. And there's a godly light that per- can permeate the whole world, purifying it while leaving all of the good stuff there, namely you. Which is interesting. If you think about it, you see it in the world of therapy and in coaching that a person sometimes afraid to grow as if they're going to lose themselves. And if they lose themselves... We're like, what will I be if I'm no longer a teacher? It happens in retirement. A person retires from a business or from something, and he thinks, who am I going to be? I'm no longer this. But the truth is, when a person is joyous in a transition, he can still, everything that he is remains. And there's really nothing to lose except for the impurities that are there to begin with. So we're going on to the next sentence. The greater the degree of joy you can attain and the more you truly rejoice, the more you will obliterate the obstacles which stand between God and yourself. So this happiness that burns the impurities out of the way um, is very, very wonderful thing. A few things to go over here. Number one, that joy is something that needs attaining. It's not just a mood state that we could say, okay, I think of something positive now. I'll lead you through a mindfulness exercise and likely most people listening will be able to get into some positive gratitude or joy or other state that will enable them to feel a positive mood state. However, we're really talking about attaining. Attaining means working through a process, building a muscle. So that's just good to know, both in a sense of like, let's not get frustrated if we don't have it instantaneously. And also let's get determined that we're going to have to grow. Now, It, he's teaching us the Mohorash and um, for those of you who are only hearing this type of work for the first time it's Rabbi, Shlo, Rabbi Elazar Shlomo Shik Shlita and it's a renowned Breslov leader Rosh Hashiv and author of 200 books based on the teaching of Rabbi Nachman of Breslov Zechut Tzadik Rocha and a student Rabbi Nassim of Breslov so anyways as we were saying that the reason for that interlude is really to grant credit where credit is due here that this joy is a is a fire and it burns through the obstacles and the impurities are obstacles that's what i'm trying to let you know that impurities are obstacles that's the problem with getting impure is now there's an obstacle between me and god so there's god over there and in uh, me over here or say it in an internal way there's god in me somewhere deep buried in me my essence right and me over here so there's a huge obstacle between me and here so they oh my gosh i have to go to ritual baths and maybe eat fast and become an ascetic sit in the mountains in a cave maybe not is teaching a different path saying no that's not what's required of you what's required of you is attaining a certain amount of joy joy and joy, internal joy, and radiating joy. And it's so difficult sometimes when we go through mental health challenges, emotional health challenges. And it's true. It's very true. We need to find more and more ways. We're going to be going over those with God's help, different ways to penetrate joy and find joy, even in times of sorrow, times of difficulty, times of uh, obsessive OCD crisis, panic attacks, depression. Still, it's possible, and we still work for it. Because it's on a deeper level itself. So, therefore, thank you so much for listening, and we'll keep going in our next micro-episode.